later on, over the weekend, it started to set in that you'd done something special. And that Coach Bryant, you know, had reached that milestone that, that he deserved to reach. And you just felt good. The very next year, Auburn fans released nine years of frustration in yet another fourth quarter comeback. Bama was up 22-14 when a freshman by the name of Bo Jackson broke loose. This 53-yard gallop set up a field goal and turned the game. The Tigers would come back to win 23-22 when Bo went over the top and the Legion field goal posts came down. Sometime early in the fourth quarter, Alabama had rushed for 219 yards and thrown for 219 yards, and, and uh, we hadn't slowed them up all day, but we were still in the football game. And we got the ball back and, of course, drove it in for the winning touchdown and then had to hold Alabama twice uh, after that to, to win the game. nineteen eighty five alabama's last win in the series and a game called by many the greatest ever played auburn led seventeen sixteen in the fourth when gene jelks cut against the grain and bolted seventy four yards to put the tide ahead auburn responded with reggie ware going in from the one the tigers led twenty three twenty two that left it to van tiffin this would win the game there is the snap the kick it is in the air it has this And as Tiffin took a ride off the field, Bama took home a 25-23 win. You are looking at a sight that many people thought would never happen. Alabama fans in Jordan-Hare Stadium getting ready for the Alabama-Auburn rivalry. Now we just took we just took a look at a couple of the uh, great games in the series, and when we come back, we're going to take a look at a lot more, including the quarterbacks. That's right. Reggie Slack and Gary Hollingsworth both have had outstanding seasons for the Crimson Tide and the Tigers, and Slack and Hollingsworth undoubtedly have been the leaders. I know that you have a great feature on both of them coming up, Roger. And when we come back, we'll check out that action as the band takes the field between us and you. We'll be right back check with more on the plane. <laughs> Dodge, 1057 Opelika Road, Auburn, Alabama. Welcome back to War on the Plains, live from Jordan-Hare Stadium. I'm Roger Maynard. I've got the Alabama fans here. I've got the Auburn band taking the field behind me. It is a frenzied atmosphere, history in the making. Many people thought this day would never come, but Alabama and Auburn are getting set for kickoff. Who will be the key players? Who will be the heroes? In all likelihood, it will probably be the quarterbacks. They tend to make or break a team. Let's take a look at Reggie Slack and Gary Hollingsworth. This is the story of two quarterbacks, Reggie Slack and Gary Hollingsworth. They will start for opposing teams this afternoon. They arrived at this location traveling different roads, but emotionally they are very much alike, cool and calm under pressure. Hollingsworth took the reins of the Alabama offense early in the year and has riddled defenses with his aerial assault ever since, throwing for 12 touchdowns and over 2,000 yards. But it's the coolness that sets Hollingsworth and Slack apart. I think just the fact that after it happens, there's nothing you can do about it, really. I mean, you know, it's already happened. Uh, no matter what you do, I mean, you can jump up and down, run around or whatever, but no matter what you do, it's not going to change, you know, the fact. You just have to, uh, to think about what happened and just try to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Gary's been a shining star and um, has surprised all of us with the extent of his success. We thought he'd be good enough to win with. We didn't uh, have any idea that he would be able to dominate the way he has. For Slack, the season has been a solid one. The senior has thrown for 11 touchdowns and over 1,700 yards. At times, he has been criticized, but the low-key Slack chooses to think of the